How's everyone doing? I'm back here again for part three of my Halloween and Michael Myers collection. In this video, I'm going to be showing off all of my t-shirts, a few posters, and my autographs. Uh, so yeah, guys, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. And I'm going to start off with the t-shirts. And the first one I'm going to show is one that I've had the longest, and it is, of course, this classic Halloween. You know, it's got the classic pumpkin, and of course, the tagline, the night he came home. Um, I've had this shirt for you know, a long time, and uh, I wear this every year on Halloween. Okay, now the next one is one that I got recently at a uh, Walmart, and it's this one right here, and I really like this one because, you know, it has the classic um, poster of the original, but I like it how that the pumpkin on it is darker than the one on the uh, the other one that I got. Like, as you can see, this one has got more of a an orangey type, sort of dark red look to it. And this one just has an orange look to it. And um, I think it looks really cool. And I also like that it, it has the credits at the bottom, which that one doesn't. Um, so, yeah, really like this one. And it was only like 10 bucks at Walmart, so very cool. This next one I think I got at Hot Topic, and it's this really cool Halloween 2 shirt, and uh, it's meant to look like a classic uh, VHS cover. Um, the original uh, Halloween 2 VHS doesn't actually look like this, but, you know, that's what they were trying to go for, and I really love the look of this. You know, I mean, I love, you know, the classic uh, pumpkin. How the Halloween 2 is one of my favorite um, posters um, from the series, and I love just this image right here with the, uh, you know, the fog all around it, and it's got the classic, uh, you know, horror sticker. It even says VHS and stereo, and this is just a really, really awesome shirt. Next one, I think I got this at I either got this at FYE or Spencer's, but it's the Halloween safety. You got Michael there, and you got Lori and Tommy, and it says the Sister's Guide. I really love this shirt. And then this one right here is just awesome. You know, it says Halloween right there. You got Michael with a knife, and then you got the classic pumpkin. Um, from the opening Halloween very very cool then we have this shirt right here which I've had forever um, and it's got the uh, you know it's got the Mike the image of Michael's mask from Halloween 4 um, and it says Halloween in it. and then it has this kind of yellowish orange sort of thing going down it um, I really do like this shirt. I do kind of wish that it didn't have this yellow thing. I would have preferred it if, if it just had, you know, just a white mask and it said Halloween. But still, I really like this shirt. And then this one is pretty cool. This is just like a collage of, you know, um, you, know, you like got Michael there. You got Jason, Freddy, Ghostface right there with the knife in his head. And you got Chucky. And there's just a ton of small little... Um, like Easter eggs all around. Like over on the shelf, you got Weatherface's chainsaw, you got Jason's mom's head, and and you got the ne Necronomicon and uh, the puzzle box from Hellraiser. Really cool. And the last one is when I got it, Hot Topic, and this is a uh, really cool Halloween The Curse of Michael Myers long sleeve. Which just has, you know, different images. You know, you got the image of the, you know, the uh, poster right there. Michael holding the knife. And then, it says the curse of Michael Myers down there. And and then on the, uh, the sleeve right here, you have images of, from Halloween 6. And then on the side, on the other uh, sleeve, Halloween, the curse of Michael Myers. And it does have some more art on the back which is really cool got Michael there holding the holding the axe really really cool 
And like I said, I got this from Hot Topic. All right, now the next few things I'm going to show off. Uh, go ahead and move these. Next thing I'm going to show off is uh, an art print that I got from a local artist here um, in Virginia, Tracy Lupton. This is this really cool um, you know, Rob Zombie Halloween print. You got Michael there with the uh, punk. I mean, with the um, clown mask and then the uh, Myers tombstone. Like I said, this was done by a local artist here, Tracy Lupton, who has done uh, such great, great art from so many great movies. I have a ton of them. Like I have a Jason one, uh, one from The Omen. Um, I also have a Kurt Cobain one that he did, and he's just a really great artist. Now this next one is just a smaller poster, um, but one thing I like about it is that it has the artwork from um, Halloween 4, which is my favorite sequel, and I love the poster for Halloween 4. I love this image of Michael's mask and the house. Um, I do wish that the mask looked like this in the movie, but still pretty cool. And then I have this poster right here which I got from my old job at Robertson um, and um, yeah it's really cool I don't know if it's original or not um, we did uh, try to frame it up but it, it fell off the wall um, unfortunately so I've been wanting to get this reframed it's it's not in you know perfect shape there are some spots on it but still just having a full-size Halloween poster is really, really awesome um, you know like like I said I don't know if this is original but it does look pretty old um, but yeah, really happy to have that. And the last things I'm going to show, um, well, first of all, I'll show this right here. Um, it's my uh, Halloween blanket that looks like the classic media VHS. I got this from my buddy Tony one year for Christmas. And I'll go ahead and show off the, uh, oh, and of course stuff falls, but it's basically just the, the VHS um, cover, the original media cover. Oh, hold on, let me pick these up. All right, sorry about that. And the last few things I'm gonna show are some autographs. Now, I didn't get any of these autographs um, personally. I got them from websites and places and like that. But this one is from, um, oh, what is his name, Jim? Point one second, let me look at the James Winburn. Yeah, that's right, James Winburn. Um, autograph. I actually got this from a local uh, mall, uh, a local antique mall here. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty cool um, that I got, you know, an autograph from somebody that, uh, you know, played Michael. So that's very, very cool in one of the scenes. Now this next one is a really, really cool one, and that is this really awesome PJ Souls. Autograph right here, Scream Queens. And this was from um, uh, CSR Collectibles. Um, and this is a limited edition number seven of 35. Um, and I just really, really love this print. You know, there's just different images of, you know, of course from Halloween, but also from Carrie. And uh, yeah, it just goes down like that. There she is with Sid Haig right there. And yeah. Really awesome, and you know, it's also cool that she only signed 35 of them. Um, but I got this from I uh, where's the can't find the name of the actual place I got this from. Um, trying to find I can't can't think of the name of it, of the but uh, yeah, very, very cool. And the last few autographs I got I actually have framed up in my movie room, so let's just go ahead and uh. Show you guys those real fast. All right, let's come on in here and let me turn on the, the light. And then here they are. Now this first one right here is of Dick Warlock. I got this from his website. Um, and uh, yeah, I remember when I got this, um, I saw somebody post in a Michael Myers uh, Facebook group that I'm in and um, he said that um, Dick Warlock was no longer signing personal items meaning he's not signing masks or anything like that because you know now that he's getting older his handwriting is not the best and he didn't want to ruin anybody's masks 
for uh, you know signing it and messing it up. So he stopped signing personal items. And when I heard that, I was thinking, oh well, it's only a matter of time before he stops uh, signing anything because you know since his handwriting is getting bad from old age. So I went on his website and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get an autograph from him. He's one of my favorite. Um, one of my favorite actors who played Michael. I love Halloween too. I love his performance. And I was on his website and I saw this print right here, which I absolutely love of him just standing there um, in the, you know, in, in the doorway right there at, from the hospital. And it says Dick Warlock H2. Um, there were a lot of other people, you know, there were a lot of other um, pictures that he had. And there were a lot of other people who got the image of, uh, you know, right when Lori shoots out his eyes at the end of the movie and there's blood coming down his uh, mask. A lot of people got that. And that's, you know, that's a really cool um, image. But I, I feel like everybody gets that picture. I wanted to get a different picture, something something different that other people didn't have. And then I saw this and I was like, yep. So I got it and I'm really, really happy to get it because, you know, you never know. You know, these actors are getting older and you really never know when's the last time you're going to have the opportunity to get an autograph from them. Next one I got from Sandy Johnson who played of course Michael's sister and um, this is a really cool print. I'm going to try to get it so that the glare is not on it but this is a really awesome print. There she is right there holding the uh, the clown mask and in the background you can see the house and you can see uh, the pumpkin right there. It's kind of blurry but yeah very very cool and then she wrote take off that thing um, because I got it customized and you know you could write whatever you wanted her to say on it and I thought why not say the the classic line when you know her boyfriend is wearing uh, the clown mask and she's like take off that thing so I had her write that sorry and it was kind of blurry but there we go so take off that thing Sandy Johnson Michael Ju uh, Judith Myers it says Sandy Johnson as Judith Myers Halloween really cool print and I believe this was a limited print as well and the last one is one of the coolest ones, and unfortunately it's dark in here, but um, let me try to get out of the light. Uh, it's kind of dark. But it's the scene, um, Daniel Harris, at the end of Halloween 4, when she's holding up the knife, and she wrote, To Cody, Happy Halloween, Daniel Harris. I got this off of her website, and one thing that was cool was when I went onto her website, this um, image right here was sold out. She didn't have any more of it, so I was thinking, oh, you know, that's the man. I'm sure that's the one that everybody wants, you know, the, the classic scene of her holding up the knife, you know, that's the one that everybody wants, and um, it was sold out, so I got a different one of her wearing the, the clown costume, and, you know, so she could sign that, but she ended up sending me this, so I guess she had a few left, and so I ended up getting the one that I wanted, but I wasn't expecting it because I thought that they had sold out, but... I'm trying to get it. I know it's a little bit dark because it's in the frame, but I'm trying to get it. I mean, you guys can see it. It's the image of, you know, her, and right there is that yo, you know, R2 Cody with a little, little heart right there, and then uh, it says Happy Halloween, and then Daniel Harris, Jamie, across there. I know it's kind of dark, but um, yeah, that's very, very cool, and um, you know, like I said, you know, it, it it's really cool that, you know we're able to get, it, it's cool we're able to get autographs. It's cool that they sell their autographs from their websites. So if you guys want these, you can go on to Dick Warlock's website or Sandy Johnson or Daniel Harris, and I'm sure you can get these. Um, you know, like I said about Dick Warlock, you never know when you're, the next chance you're going to get, um, you know, since they're getting older. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, very cool. And that is it, guys. That is my entire Halloween and Mike Myers collection. Well, almost my entire one. I do have a um, a phone case, and it's an image of Michael holding a knife. And um, you see Jamie from Halloween 4 holding up her knife in a house. I did show it off in a previous video, but I can't, can't show it off in this video because it's on the back of my um, phone. And I'm, I'm obviously filming um, this videos with my phone. But anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. I don't know what my next video will be. I might try to do a Friday 13th video. And then I might do some videos just showing off maybe some Halloween decorations. Um, not really sure, but I'll get those up when I can, you know. Like I said, you know, since I'm working, now I just don't have 
um, as much time to shoot videos, but at the same time, you know, at, at this point I'm kind of in a, a point where I'm only going to shoot videos and post videos when I feel like doing them. I'm not going to feel obligated to do like one video a week or something like that. I'm really taking a break and I'm enjoying, enjoying it now. I'm enjoying doing videos because there were some times when I was doing videos and I actually felt like I needed to post videos, you know, and I don't ever want to feel like I need to. So, but anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. Thanks everybody for subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video.